Hello, everyone. I pray you are blessed. I pray you are doing well. I pray that God is helping all of us in our lives. I pray that we continue or get on the path of righteousness. I want to share something with you. Maybe this will help you, maybe not. Who knows? Years ago, I was planning on doing something bad and I am not going to say what it is. I believe before I got into the car, maybe when I got into the car, it's not that I was hearing voices. This may seem very strange to you. But I was receiving, I don't know how to say it. Um, I was receiving thoughts that were coming in very strong as a voice. In a way that was stronger. How can I say this? I believe I was receiving thoughts in a way like a voice, but as if that person or whatever it was, was speaking more in a, can I say author, authoritative way? Like, uh, you know, stop, you know, you know, more in that type of way. Which doesn't happen very often in that type of way. And I can't remember every single fact. You know, I can remember some things, but maybe at first, maybe the voice or whatever you want to call it, maybe at first it was not, it was not coming in very strongly, but I believe the more I was trying to ignore it, the stronger it got. I believe this was happening when I was in my car as well, perhaps. And I kept on, can I say ignoring? I guess I can. I kept on trying to push away those voice thoughts or whatever you want to call them. Like I was trying harder and harder to push them away. Then it got to the point where that voice thought stopped. Then when it stopped, I felt, I felt a demonic presence in the back seat of my car. I did. I felt a demonic presence in the back seat of my car. And I went and did that bad thing. I believe God is and was even back then so merciful to me. Now, can I say that voice thought or whatever it was, was the Holy Spirit or I don't know what it was, honestly, I don't know, but it was trying to get me to stop, but I would not listen. I would not listen. And what I did 
was very wrong. And like I said, God was very merciful to me. Very merciful. What if I would have got into a car accident and died? What if I was shot or something back then? I think I would have went straight to hell. I was warned. Now, you may say to me, Kevin, you know, you have a mind problem. You are mental. You know, how can you receive those type of thoughts? And back then, I was not so much interested in living for Jesus Christ, but at the same time, I did not want to go to hell. I wanted to do what is wrong, but at the same time, I did not want to go to hell. So I would ask God for forgiveness for my sins, but at the same time, I was, if I remember correctly, very comfortable and doing what is wrong. How foolish was I? Nonsense. You may believe sinful things are fun. Maybe you are very greedy. Maybe you like to do what is wrong. Let me tell you this, it is not worth it. Think about this. Is doing what is wrong worth going to hell over? Think about that. I did quite a bit of wrong things in my life, and I can honestly say it was not worth it. In a sense, I did not really benefit from it. Yes, I can say that, yes, I may have received this and got this and done that. But in the end, I believe we all are going to reap whatever we sow. So if you think about it, what are you truly gaining? I believe what you are gaining is heartache. I believe what you are gaining is more trouble than what you need. I regret every bad thing I did in my life. You know, I believe I did some wrong things because <clears throat> I thought it would be fun. It was not beneficial for me to do what is wrong, even if I thought I could get fun out of it. Please listen to what I am saying. Some people may say living for Jesus Christ is boring. It is not. That is, listen, man, that is a demonic lie. I believe there are so many things you can do in this world that is not sinful. Why, like, are sinful things the only thing people can do for fun? Honestly, I believe it is a demonic deception. You can do things that are not sinful, and I believe they can be fun for you. Living for Jesus Christ is not boring. Is it difficult? I think so. I think it can be very, very difficult, but it has so much, so many advantages. So much. And you probably won't know this until you start to live the right type of life. Before I thought that living for God was boring, but as I started to do it and do it and do it and do it, this is the best type of life, I am telling you. I feel so safe and protected while living for Jesus Christ. I feel so protected, so protected. Do you know how many demonic dreams I get? Oh, 
or should I say, do you know how many demonic dreams I've received? I don't have to worry about it. Some people say, you know, Kevin, you know, witchcraft this, witchcraft that. I don't have to worry about that. Yes, some really strange things happened to me, but all in all, all I have to do pretty much is do what is right, try to treat folks right, and call upon the name of the Lord. I am telling you, it is just that simple. Maybe I should not say simple, but living for Jesus Christ may be difficult, but, but I truly believe it's easier to live for the Lord than to live without him, if you understand what I mean by that. Trying to live not by his rules. Why would you do that? That is to your disadvantage. I believe you are spiritually weak if you choose to not live by the rules of God. I hope this is making sense. Living for Jesus Christ is not boring. Whoever told you that is lying or they may not know. If you believe this to be true, as in living for Jesus Christ is boring, you are speaking out of ignorance, as I did back in the past. Living for Jesus Christ is great. It is amazing. It is the best thing in this world, I am trying to tell you. But you won't know it. Why? Because maybe you are not following him in that way. You may believe you know everything about Jesus Christ, but you don't. I believe as I try to do what is right, I believe I am learning more and more about Jesus Christ, more and more about, I guess I can say, intimacy with him. But where you are now, you may not know too much, and that is probably the problem. I truly believe if you choose to not live for Jesus Christ, I truly believe you are going to regret it. Back in my past, I would do a lot of cussing. I would, you know, jump from woman to woman. Not a whole lot, but sometimes I would do that in my past. I would go to these bars or so-called clubs, whatever you want to call them. I would, you know, do this and do that. It is a waste of time. It is a waste of time. And I regret even going to those bars and clubs. I regret messing with those women in the wrong way. I regret all sinful things because it did not benefit me in the end. I wish I would have I guess there were points in my life I would serve God before this, but I wish I would have stayed steady at a very young age to the age I am now. I wish I would have, I probably would be more mature in Christ than I am now if I would have stayed consistent. But I wanted to, in a sense, follow the crowd. I wanted to do some bad things other people were doing. I did not want to be left out. Do away with those things. Do away with sinful things. Yes, you may fail from time to time, but continue striving for perfection. It is very worth it. 
I am telling you, my life now, I may not be rich. I may not have a Maserati. I may not have a mansion. I may not have one million dollars. But what I have in Christ right now, I would not trade it for the world. I would not trade it for one million dollars. I would not trade it for a bunch of gold because what I have now, sometimes I get stressed and stuff like that, but I have peace. I have peace. I have protection. I have security. Like, what can really beat that? I don't have to worry myself all night and all day about what this witch is going to do, what this demon is going to do, what that person is going to do. I don't have to, listen now, I don't have to know everything. I don't have to know everything. I don't have to figure everything out. All I have to do is cry out to Jesus Christ. All I have to do is, is tell him about it and ask him to help me. I would say some other things too, but let me keep this really simple. So I hope this makes sense. May God bless you and have a nice day. God bless you.